Hello, in this video I'm going to show you five first things to do after setting up your Apple Watch Ultra Free. Okay, as you can see right here I have it set up so I'm going to start it and I'm going to skip the tour because I already know it but of course you can take it and uh, let's let's begin everything i'm just gonna click on uh, use here okay i'm gonna uh, also allow like um, location for the weather and let's first customize the action button the orange one uh, because it's quite useful right uh, if you want to uh, customize it in the app go to action button and then you can select the action and you can see you have all the different um, options. So the workout, of course, is the default one. So when you click here, it opens workout um, and stuff like that. So like you can start a workout. So it's, uh, it's great. You can also go to stopwatch. So when you click here, it starts, already starts a stopwatch. When you click again, it'll mark a lap and you can stop it do whatever um, there's waypoint so when you click here it creates a waypoint in where, where you are so then when you want to go back it'll show you compass in order to go back to the waypoint so i think that's great um okay i'm gonna go back uh, there's backtrack so it'll like um remember your route and then show you the compass in order to backtrack your route um, you, you, you've taken. Uh, dive, of course, to open the dive app. Flashlight to open the flashlight. Okay, it actually switched. Um, it's still... Hold on a second. I'm going to eject the water. Yeah, I'm going to go to flashlight maybe now. Yeah, and you can see it turns on the flashlight. I can turn it off. So that's also great. You can do control center, but it's of course, no, sorry, mm, control a new reminder. I don't want to really get that. And there's, there's way more, but mm, let's not, let's not talk about that too much. So mm, yeah, you can, you can set it to whatever you like. I'm going to set it to maybe the mm, workout because it's quite useful. Um, you can also uh, like, you know, for example, when you select I guess when you select control, you can do what it does. You can select what it does. You can see. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to workout. Um, and uh, now let's uh, let's. By the way, there there's a siren. I'm gonna try to activate it, but it may be a little bit loud. I'm gonna hold it. Hold on a second, it did not open. Press and hold it. Okay, yeah, there's a siren, I can activate it. Yeah, it's getting pretty loud, I'm gonna stop it. <laughs> and now let's see, let's see more. Let's see more. Of course, the faces are worth customizing. You may already like the face that you have here, but you can click on edit here. No, sorry, not edit. Go to face gallery on your iPhone, and then you can select new watch faces, health and fitness, photos, tool watch, whatever, data rich, Apple Watch Ultra. Um, you can see the Apple Watch Ultra are pretty great. I think I like them a lot. And I'm actually gonna set it to maybe this one. You can see modular ultra you can select a color of it i'm gonna select it to multicolor then you can set it uh, set the bezel to show you none seconds depth elevation or training i'm gonna just set it to just simple seconds um then style can be also set i think i'm gonna leave it on um the hours minutes and seconds then uh night mode you can uh set it to auto so when it's night it'll turn to 
red, uh, then there are complications. You have top left, top, top right, um, bottom left, bottom and bottom right. Um, so let's, um, yeah, you can customize them right to all the different things here. Uh, these are basically these buttons above and below the clock. And now if I want to add it, just click on add, then go to my watch and you can click on the watch face to s and click on set as current watch face. And you can see it is my watch face now and it's going really great. I think it's pretty, pretty great. Speaking of the watch face, I really like always on display. Always on display makes your Apple Watch always display the, um, the clock, right? And of course it uses a little bit more power, but since it has an LTPO display, which means it lowers the screen refresh rate as it's in um, always on display, and also lowers the brightness, it's not really using that much power. So I really like it. And also, you know, the Apple Watch has like 42 hours of normal usage on one charge. And since I, I personally charge my watch every day because I, I couldn't remember to charge it every other day, I can just enable it, right? So yeah, there's always on. You can see it's already here. You can uh, enable what complications data will be enabled live activities and apps. And now I can have it here. So yeah, it is on. And since it's not on my wrist, it's probably not gonna work. <sighs> if it's not going to work, then I'm gonna just put it on the wrist. Yeah, now it is in always on display mode. You can see it, the screen doesn't go off. When I tap on it, it goes back into the um, normal mode and shortly it will go back by itself to the always on display mode the screen will dim and the refresh rate will lower so let's wait until then yeah and now it's back again in always on display mode so i think that's really great and now let's see some other things because i've just shown you three and we want to do five right so let's go now to passcode i would highly recommend setting up a passcode on your apple watch if you haven't do done it during the setup a passcode will be asked whenever you take the apple watch off the wrist and put it on again or not put it on just when you take it off right and it stays uh when you put it on your wrist and type in the passcode then it stays unlocked until you take it off and if you want to set up the passcode, you can go to passcode, turn passcode on, and then enter uh, a new passcode. And then re-enter it, and it's going to be set now. Uh, by the way, um, you can disable simple passcode. Now enter the current passcode and set it to a longer one. Right, so let's set it to a longer one. Let's click on OK. And now let's retype it in. And now, as you can see, when I try to unlock the Apple Watch, when I lock it first, let's lock it. Let's unlock it. It doesn't ask me for that. I'm going to try to lock it. Yeah, now it's locked. You can see I can just enter the passcode and as long as it stays on my wrist it's gonna be unlocked now um, let's uh, and also with the passcode I would recommend turning on with iPhone unlocking with iPhone uh, I use it personally which means that even if you've taken it off on uh, off your wrist and put it back on then it'll automatically unlock Apple watch when your iPhone is unlocked and near uh, Apple Watch and if you're currently using it. So yeah, that's that's great. Um, so the, this is the fourth thing. And the fifth thing um, is emergency SOS. I would highly recommend um, going into emergency contacts here 
and setting them up because it lets you um, use it right when you need it but I'll actually need to edit uh, the contacts here I'm gonna delete them gonna approve it now you can see it looks like this I need to click here add emergency contact select one of the contacts that I have now you can select relationship if you need it and approve it and now when I go out of it I can um, do like hold side button to dial so when you want to call that contact you can hold the side button uh, and slide or just hold and wait you can see uh, it just goes and keep on holding for additional five seconds and it's just gonna call um, also there's crash detection and stuff like that it is really really helpful and uh, may save you in some different situations right so yeah i hope that this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one